Hey, my name is Sharon, and I'm here today to talk about targeting those love handles. So go ahead and lower yourself down onto the mat. Go ahead and lower. When you lower all the way down, the first thing I want you to do is stack the shoulders, stack your hips, stack the knees, and stack your heels. So everything's in a perfect straight line. Next, next thing I would like for you to do is draw your heels back towards your bottom. You're going to draw the elbow right up underneath your shoulder. So again, you're back in that straight line. Shoulders, hips, and knees. Everything in a straight line. You're going to lift the hips off the floor. This is called the side plank. With the side plank, can you lift the hips off the floor? You notice that the shoulders stay nice and straight. Chest is lifted, pulling up and engaging right through the side here to keep the hips lifted. We don't want to see the hips drop here or the shoulder roll forward. You want to keep, again, everything lifted. Draw the shoulder back, lift. You can hold this position in a static hold as you breathe in and out, holding it and lifting it. You'll hold it up for like 10 seconds. You can also advance it by dropping the hips and then lifting back up. Drop and lift, drop, lift. You can also extend the arm straight up, taking it again with that hip drop and up. One more advance to this modification with the knees on the floor would be to take it into a rotation. Take that top arm, roll it right through, reaching like you're reaching behind, come back up, don't drop the hips and lift back up, arm extended, reaching. Hips are lifted again, cross through, reach back, rotate back up, arm extends, hips are staying elevated. So the next thing we're gonna do to target those love handles is the side crunch. So make sure you pay close attention because there's several variations to this exercise, going from basic to more advanced. Go ahead and lower yourself down onto the mat. Again, stacking the hips, stacking the knees, and stacking the heels. This time we're gonna bring the knees forward. Place both hands behind your head. Now as you do this exercise, you'll exhale as you lift up. Inhale, back down. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, coming back down. You can also extend that bottom arm if you like. Exhale, lifting up, inhale, coming back down. Make sure that you're not pressing too much on the floor to get that lift. You just have that arm there for support. Inhale down, exhale up. Breathe in, breathe out. That's that one set of 15 repetitions. Again, advancing to the three sets of 15 repetitions. Taking it to the next version, we'll start with the hands behind your head, extend the top leg. Going to raise up at the same time, lifting the upper body, lifting the leg at the same time, exhaling, breathing in. On this exercise, you get two things going here. You're not only strengthening the love handles or working that part in the love handles, you're also conditioning the side of the leg. We call those the adductors, abductors. Right on the lateral side of the leg, this is good, again, conditioning also for runners. So remember you guys, there's no such thing as spot reduction. You need to take precaution in making sure that you decrease your calories and increase your calorie expenditure. Today we focused on conditioning and strengthening the love handles. So if you want to make sure to lose the love handles, really target your nutrition and make sure you're burning more calories and start doing more core conditioning. Have fun.